drawing electron configurations with the off-bar or orbital diagram. In this problem it asks us which of the following is the correct orbital diagram for carbon. So what do we need to do to find out what is the correct orbital diagram? What is an orbital diagram? It describes the behavior of electrons in any atom. So we're looking for carbon specifically. So I'm what I'm going to do is show you how to draw the orbital diagram and then we'll look at the answers to see which one matches the one that we've correctly drawn. So when we have an orbital diagram we have to first find out how many electrons carbon has. So carbon has an atomic symbol of C and when we look at the periodic table we see that it has an atomic number of six. That tells us it has six protons but because it's also a neutral atom it also means it has six electrons. So now we can use this to draw our orbital diagram. Notice how these are drawn. They have the energy levels and the sublevels. So we have orbitals, 1s, and then we move on to 2s. And notice that there's only one box because there's only, it can only fit two electrons. So I'm going to draw this one box and then 2p. That's as far as it goes. That's all we'll need. Okay, one, two, three, because it can only fit six electrons. So as we can see that some of it is kind of drawn poorly in the first place in this problem. So what we can see here is that 1s can only fit two electrons, 2s can fit two electrons, and 2p can fit six electrons, two per box, two per sublevel. Um, so what we have to do first is put in our first electron. So we draw the arrow to represent an electron and I'm pointing it in one direction meaning that it's spinning in one direction. It's spinning in a direction. So it doesn't mean it's spinning up, it just means that it's spinning in a direction. And then the next thing I have to do following the off ball principle, I can't jump to 2s, I have to stay in 1s and fill that up first before I move on to the next energy level. So remember we still have to use the rules that we learned before, off ball principle. So I'm going to fill that in and remember that by the Pauli exclusion principle we can't have electrons with the same quantum numbers so it has to be spinning in a different direction and that means it's spinning, that represents that it's spinning in a different direction. Now 2s, I'm going to draw the same thing so now I have three electrons, four electrons, that's great. Now remember we have six electrons so we now have to move to 2p. So this one can be a little tricky because what we have to do is draw one electron here and then move and draw an electron here. Notice that they are spinning in the same direction but they are in different they are in different boxes to represent that that orbital is not filled. We have to fill first all the orbitals make sure that they're spinning in the same directions before they start sharing space here. So I wouldn't be able to draw an electron here until this one is filled up. So that is, the, uh, that is Hund's rule and we have to remember all the rules when, and principles when we draw orbital diagrams. So let's check these answers and see which one matches up. A doesn't because it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 orbitals. So that is definitely 5 electrons. That's definitely wrong. So B has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and that looks sort of like ours right here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and notice that they're not sharing until the other orbitals are filled. So for B, that is the correct answer to our problem. And if you want to check C, D, and E quickly, you see that they have more electrons than they need. So that means that all of them are not the answers we're looking for.